Hey guys, it's Foreign Finance here and welcome to our first video and I'll be showing you how to calculate your income tax. Now don't be alarmed, there's a lot of information here but it can be explained quite simply. There's three types of income, your non-savings income, which is income such as employment income, you know, your trading income if you're a sole trader, any property income, for example rent, or, or any other overseas income. We then have our savings income, this is any interest income that you receive. And then moving over to D, which stands for dividends, and that's if you have a if you are a shareholder in a company and you receive dividends of any sort. So, let's start off. There's three bands: the basic rate band, the higher rate band, and the additional rate band. And there's different tax rates for these bands. Personal allowance is twelve thousand five hundred, and that's available to everyone. The only caveat is if you're earning over a hundred thousand pounds, your personal allowance will be reduced, and if you earn over one hundred twenty-five thousand pounds, you do not have a personal allowance. And as I was saying, your personal allowance, if you're earning over 100,000, will be will be reduced. Let's say an example. Let's say if you earn 125,000, it'll be 125,000. Take a 100,000, which is 25,000. A half of that is 12,500. You're everyone's allowed a 12,500 allowance. Take away 12,500 means your personal allowance would be zero. However, if you earn 110,000, we can do an example here. 110,000. Take away 100,000 is 10,000. Half of 10,000 is 5,000, and take away your personal allowance would be 12,500. Take away 5,000, and you would have a personal allowance of 7,500 with an earning of 110,000. That's a simple formula to calculate how much your personal allowance would be. If you earn, obviously, if you earn less than 100,000, then you would get the full allowance of 12,500 given you have no benefits from your company. Now, your savings income, as we discussed earlier, such as interest, is, you know, you're entitled to a personal savings allowance. And if you're a basic rate earner, so you, you're, you don't exceed the 20% tax band, then you will have a basic rate savings of £1,000 of interest and you will be taxed at 0% and not any of these rates here. Not 20%, 40% or 45%. Likewise, if you're a higher rate taxpayer, i.e. earning between 150,000 and 37 and a half thousand net of your personal allowance, then you will be taxed at, you have an allowance of 500 pounds at 0%. Unfortunately, additional rate taxpayers, they will be taxed at, they will have no allowance, it'll be, they'll, they will be taxed on their full savings income. Now, this is different for dividends income because regardless of what your salary is, you have £2,000 of tax-free dividend income a year. Now, just to explain this diagram here, it's quite simple to understand. So, a non-savings income, as we said, maybe our employment income. For example, let's say we earn 37500 We move 37500 up to this line here, which is our, is our maximum at the base, basic rate band. And then let's say we have £5,000 of interest. So, then we move over to the next column and we move up 5000 And this will be taxed at 40%. Then, thereafter, let's say we have 3000 of dividend income. Dividend income. Remember that we have 2,000 of uh, dividend income allowance, which is tax-free, and then the further 1,000 will be taxed at 32.5%. It might sound con confusing, but don't be. It's relatively simple, and I'll show you an example next. There are many different scenarios of which you may fall in any one of them, and I'll go through a range of examples a bit later. Uh, and so if you do fall in one of these situations, you, know, you have a worked example. There's a 0% tax tax rate tax bracket in the savings income and, and that can be explained quite easily let's say for argument's sake you have no non-saving income i.e you have no employment income no trade income no pension income no property income but you only have interest income from the bank for example and let's say this interest income is about seven thousand you then have zero in the non-savings income and then you move over to the savings income your first five thousand is a starting rate allowance which is tax free at zero percent and thereafter, your 2,000 extra additional, as we said we have a 7,000 interest income, will be taxed at 20%. However, remember, it's personal savings allowance. If you're a basic rate earner, your 1,000 will be at 0%. If you're a higher rate earner, i.e. you go above 37.5, in this example we do not. So that we'll, be ta we'll have a 1,000 allowance, and then the remainder 1,000 will be taxed at 20%. So out of the 7,000 of savings income, assuming you have no non-savings income, 5,000 is in is tax at 0%, an extra 1,000 is at 0%, and then the remainder 1,000 is at 20%. But don't worry if that's confusing, because I'll show you a worked example now. 
And as I said before, this is for income tax in the UK, uh, however, not including Scotland, as the only difference with Scotland is that the tax ban there are more tax bans and therefore you will have more boxes in this diagram here. But the same principle applies to what I'll be showing you now. So if we move on to an example, let's say I'm a, I earn 80,000 pounds of income from my employment, from my employee, employee, and I have dividends income of 5,000 pounds. How do I calculate my income tax? Remember, we're using this diagram. We know that 37,500 will be taxed at 20%. Thereafter, any additional income up to 150,000 will be taxed at 40%. And as we move to, and we move from the left to the right, and therefore my dividends income, wherever I stop, my dividend income will continue from there at that tax rate. Right, let's show you. So one way to do this, and I find it really easy this way, and I encourage you to do the same, is split this out as, so we have our income, 80,000, and that was our non-savings income. And then we have our savings income, and we, we don't have any, so that's zero. And then we have our dividends income. And we said that is 5,000. So our total is 80,000. This is a relatively simple example. And we have dividends of 5,000. Now, I'll be talking about the most simple case, assuming you have no qualifying interest, you have no gifts of assets to charity, and you have no losses to account for. And therefore, our net income is 85,000. And we, def we are therefore entitled to a full personal allowance of 12,500, as we discussed before, because our income is less than 100,000. Therefore, our personal allowance, I'll just donate as, donate as, uh, put as PA here, it, we're entitled to the full 12,500. And that moves again from the left to the right. Full 12,500 will be covered off the 80,000, and therefore we'll have no, none left over for savings, and then we will have none left over for dividends either. We'll then take this... We'll then assume that you know there's you're not entitled to the blinds personal per, personal allowance, which is around two thousand five hundred. Which, if you are, will then also be deducted here. But we're assuming a simple case. So our net would be sixty seven five zero zero. We'll have nothing here, and there's no deduction here as we've used our full personal allowance in our income. So now we've worked out our taxable income put as TA, we are, we are taxed at, on 67,500 of our employment income and we are taxed on 5,000 of our dividends income. So using this table here, we know that 37,500 will be taxed at 20% and the remainder of 30,000 will be taxed at 40%. So we just, you can just color this in. Let's do that. So we'll put as normal savings, we have 37,500 times 20%, which as you remember, 37,500 is this basic rate band, taxed at 20%. And then we'll have the remainder of 30,000, so 37,500, and the remainder of 30,000, which is taxable, as our total, that total taxable is 67,500, will be taxed at 40%. Now, if we're looking at a savings income, there's no savings income, so no need to calculate. Dividends income, we have 5,000. However, remember, we have 2,000 pounds of dividend income, which is, which is taxed at 0%, and we can make use of this, and everyone can make use of this, regardless of your income. So we have 2,000 at 0%. And the remainder 3,000, so if I show this to you here in this example, is we have 37,500 up to here. We then have 30,000 up to here. Let's say this is 67.5K up to here. And then we move over to the right. So no savings income. So we stay at this level at 67,500. 2,000, and then we have 5,000 dividends. 
2,000 is at 0% because of our dividend allowance. The remainder 3,000 will then be taxed from here. So we'd go up to 3,000 here and move across. So this remainder will be taxed at 32.5%. Therefore, our 3,000 remainder will be taxed at 32.5%. So just picking this into the calculator, we know that this is 7,500 and we have 30,000 taxed at 40% is 12,000. 2,000 at 0% is naught. And then we have our 3,000 of the remainder dividend income tacked at 32.5%, which is 975 pounds. So that's what is, that's our, that's the amount that we have to pay in tax. So if we take the sum of these amounts, we have 975 plus 12,000 plus 7,500 is 20,475 pounds that you will pay in tax if you're earning an income of 80,000 and have a dividend allowance of 5,000. So your total tax payable will be 20,475. So this will be your income tax liability. Now let's assume that your employer has already is, has paid you eighty thousand pounds, and during the month you will realize on your pay slip that you have a deduction of P A Y E. This stands for pay as you earn, and you'll be taxed on this monthly. You'll see this on your pay slip, and you can also find the total year to date to pay as you earn that you've paid up to the up to the up to the uh, current date on your pay slip. Let's say, for argument's sake, that pay as you earn, you've already paid throughout the whole year, and I'm just pulling a figure out, figure out of the air, is 10,000. This will def be deducted, so we less pay as you earn, from our total income tax liability, and therefore our tax payable is 10,475 pounds that we have left to pay. So that's just that shows you how much income tax you uh, you you will have to pay uh, based on an income of eighty thousand and dividend income of five thousand. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this video has helped you in calculating your income tax and how how it all works. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, if you can drop a like on this video, it will help me out a lot. Thank you.